and teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, hi. And you? Very well. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo has estado? Bien. Nice. ¿Qué otras palabras te puedes ya en inglés? Um, el abecedario. Hey, very good. ¿Ya puedes deletrear? Sí. Nice. A ver, ¿cómo se deletrea dad? No, deletrear no puede. Ah, Solo no puede. El abecedario, sí, corrido. Decirle el abecedario. Ok. D, C. Sí. O cantado, o sea, se lo pongo A, B, C, D, E. Papis. D, E. Bueno, te gusta el inglés, ¿verdad? Yes. Good, that is good. Tenés que seguir practicando. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> Welcome to the class. Esperar que los demás compañeros se unan. Hello, tell me. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Thank you. Hello, Elvin. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Estoy cenando, perdón. Provecho. Gracias. Hello, Juan Josué. How are you? Hello, how are you? Very well. Thank you for asking. Bueno, vamos a esperar uno o dos minutos más y luego iniciamos, ¿verdad? Vamos a revisar primero siempre la tarea y luego vamos a... Bueno, la tarea de la plataforma y luego vamos a pasar lista y luego... Hello, Hello, good evening, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Welcome to the class. I'm very well. Que dejó, dejó tarea para hoy. Deje tarea, sí. Ah, caray. Se nos olvidó. <laughs> no puede Yo ser. Yo no lo oí. No, no. Sí, pero sí, es un párrafo de 10 líneas. Sí, sí, sí. Los demás se lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Bueno, tienen tiempo todavía de medio hacerlo ahí mientras pasamos lista. Eh, eh, de, se trataba de, del párrafo que leímos, ¿verdad? No, era un párrafo libre que llevara presente simple y presente continuo. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you, Nora? So, so. Why so, so? <laughs> well, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bueno, vamos a ir iniciando, como les comentaba, ¿verdad? Vamos a revisar primero el deber de la plataforma, luego vamos a pasar lista y luego ya van a pasar a decir a recitar su good evening, Eddie. Hello, good evening, Juan Ricardo. Teacher, yo hacerlo, voy. Pero si era para antes de la clase. Lo siento, pero tuve un día bien pesado. Pero ya, ahorita, ahorita. Ay, Ay, me solo que lo esperando. Me si lo quiere... esperando, ¿no? Dice. Si quiere, lo que podemos hacer es que le doy un par de minutos para que me... Pero empiecen a hacerlo, bueno, podemos darle mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí, Los fiche, que... porque yo tampoco lo he... Lo he tiempo de hacer. Ok. Ok, bueno, les voy a dar un par de minutos después para que lo puedan hacer. Que pasen lo que ya lo hicieron. Podemos hacer eso también, solo que recuerden sí, que siempre, siempre preguntamos, ¿verdad? Preguntamos de lo que... De lo que de Así lo que vamos sea. copiando. 
Ah, no, copia, no te va. Son bromas, son ah, bromas. Okay. ok, bueno, vamos a iniciar entonces revisando el deber, pero el de la plataforma. A ver. Era el 14, entonces. Ok, eh, en esta era, eh, choose the correct sentence. Patrick is on holiday in Greece. I'm sure. ¿Cómo sería? Hey, has fun. ¿Cuál? Hey, I, eh, quiero ver. Muy chiquita, veo. ¿no? <risa> hey, I, fun. Pero puede y... ser más grande ahí en el celular la, la pantalla, eh, porque si en el celular por eso la ve chiquita. Eh, y has fun. Vaya, he has fun, no es. No, no. no. Hey, be, I be fun. Ok, sería la segunda, ¿verdad? He is la having segunda. fun. Ok, he is having fun. Very good. Number two, the situation in a country isn't good. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? We are losing money. We are losing money. Very good. That is it. Number three, I like to go to the computer field today. ¿Cómo sería la, el complemento? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Sasa. Ajá, la respuesta de la tres, ¿cómo sería entonces? They are offering good discount, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Very good. Sí, Pero es la bien. última. They are offering good discounts, very good. Okay, en la otra, en el número cuatro, dice, I had argument, a bad argument with my friend now. No, we are in is speaking. speaking. Very good. We aren't, bueno, está, we aren't speaking to each other. Very good. Uh, bad argument. ¿Qué es eso? Do you know? You are. Sería como, algo me como una mala pelea, ¿verdad? Se pelearon ahí. Y luego dice, to each other. ¿Qué es each other? Yeah. Cuando digo, we aren't speaking to each other, no nos hablamos, ¿verdad? Ok. Number five, I have an important English exam at the end of the month. So... I, I have done... Extra lesson. Ok. I am taking extra lessons. Very good. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda con el deber que era de ayer para ahora? No question. No. Vaya. Ahora hay que hacer el otro deber, que sería el 15. Uh, choose the correct form of the verb. Esto es como un repaso, ¿verdad? Con ING. Eh, mm -hmm. Sería debería tomar el verbo que es el nada más, son cinco hay que hacerlo ahora, mañana yo estaré enviando las notas nuevamente para Insaform a las ocho de la mañana entonces, hoy a las ocho de la noche hoy, hay que hacerlo ahora, yes Bye. yes, very good questions con esto bueno, vamos a pasar lista entonces a ver Du, 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 du. Alejandra Guadalupe Orellana García. César Mauricio Pérez Avilés. César Romeo Magaña Valle. Tengo la... No sé si me va a escuchar. Sí, le escucho. Estaba viendo ahí que hay un poco de, de delay. Delmi Janet Rivas Rojas. Present. Good. Present. Good. 
Elsie Guadalupe Gil Cerón. Present. Good. Yeah. Alvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Daniel Meneses Bolaño. Present, teacher. José Miguel Acenón Peñate. Present teacher. Good. Juan José Morales Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado. Present teacher. Lucía Jamilet Cruz Mejía. ¿Hm? Mabel Cindy Castaneda Rivera. Nora Lisette Esquivel de Valte. Here. Good. Oscar Eden Nilsson Martínez Silva. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Good. Sandra Leticia Quintanilla Solano. Wilfredo Alejandro Esperanza Ramírez. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Yuri Lisette Hernández de Marroquín. Present. Good. Eh, Josué Isa Gómez Rivas. Silvia Patricia Osorio Polanco. Ok. Bueno, la pregunta del millón es... Uh, hicimos el deber, ¿verdad? Era crear un párrafo que llevara presente simple y presente continuo. Ustedes lo iban a hacer en el día y ahora en la noche iban a venir a contarme la gran historia maravillosa que se habían inventado con el presente simple y el presente continuo. Ahora, eh, la pregunta es si lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Vamos a iniciar con los que sí ya lo hicieron y los que no, de último, pero aunque sea así hablado, lo vamos a tener que decir, ¿verdad? El escrito es más fácil porque puedo yo pensar tranquilo y escribir. ¿Qué dijo si teníamos tarea? Juan Moment, sí. teacher. Sí. Le va a enredar, eh, le va a enredar el teléfono. ¿eh? A ver, ¿quién hizo el deber? Wilmer sí lo hizo, ¿verdad? Ay. Ok, Juan Ricardo también lo hizo. Elvin también lo hizo. Apareció ahí, va, teacher. A ver, creo que lo hizo también Yuri. Sí, lo hizo. Del Millanet. Y tal vez José Miguel, no sé. César también. Good. Vale, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a escuchar a los que ya lo tienen hecho y los demás. Ya sea que lo hagan uh, en el momento o se lo digan de memoria. Pero tiene que ser un párrafo, ¿verdad? Una historia. de memoria. Entonces... Por eso era como con tiempo para que lo fueran pensando qué iban a poner, cómo lo iban a hacer. Um, ok, vamos a iniciar con Juan Ricardo. Le escuchamos. Teacher, yo ah, no lo hice, no creo, pero ¿por qué? Guay. ¿Cómo qué? Vale, le vamos a dar chance, pero ya en unos 10 minutos ya vamos a estarle preguntando Va. otra vez. A ver, bien, escuchemos a Wilmer, pues, pongamos atención. Ahí voy. Vale, no recordemos, recordemos también de que uh, al final de que él hable, uno de ustedes le hará dos preguntas. <coughs> tratemos, tratemos que la pregunta sea de lo que él dice. ¿verdad? Yo sé que empezamos a hablar un montón de cosas y de repente le pregunta a alguien, what's your favorite color? O sea, yeah. sí, verdad, es, es válido, pues, pero el asunto es ver si le entendí y de, de eso preguntarle algo, ¿verdad? Eso sería el objetivo de hacerle la pregunta, ¿verdad? Para, para que haya una interacción de acuerdo a al, al, lo que estamos escuchando. Entonces, vamos a, a escuchar a Wilmer. A ver, hoy le voy a ir diciendo antes, pues, vaya, vamos a hacer un poco de trampa. ¿Quién le va a preguntar? Le va a preguntar a Wilmer Nora. Así de que va... <risa> tampoco quiere preguntar. <risa> ya, ya me desconcentró, Tite. <risa> bueno, <risa> ok, no. vamos a escuchar a Wilmer entonces. Pay attention, everybody, please. Pay attention para que tratemos el ejercicio. Es 
que él se esforzó haciendo su párrafo y que nosotros veamos si le entendemos, ¿verdad? Lo que dice, cómo lo dice, la pronunciación. Por eso las preguntas son importantes, porque es como que, mire, usted dijo que iba a la playa los domingos en la noche, ¿verdad? Y que se siente andar en la playa los domingos en la noche. No sé, algo por el estilo. So, el micrófono es de Wilmer. Eh, me escucho bien, ¿verdad? Yes, ahorita está perfecto, dirigido. Yes. Me voy, pues. Ya te hizo una eh, Despacito, lección... Wilmer. Ah, okay. no. <ríe> normal, ni rápido, ni despacio, normal. Ok. The lecture that we read yesterday made me think about what I am doing in order to improve my physical health. I'm not a health fanatic, but when I get sick, I would like to get better as soon as possible. So today, while I was working, I was thinking about the reading. And I think to myself, am I eating healthy? Am I doing enough exercise? Am I eating trash food? Why I am feeling tired? And the most important, am I feeling happy? And all of those existential questions came to my mind, so I couldn't resist. And I went for pizza and coke. <laughs> okay, that was not the ending that I was expecting, but that's good. <laughs> okay, Nora, le va a hacer como ocho preguntas, dice dos, no, muy, muy poquita. No, dos está bien, no, dos está bien. Um, where does Miguel exercise? Miguel. Yo así escuché a Miguel. No. <risa> no. Ay, pero no. Pero había alguien haciendo ejercicio. <risa> no, dijo ejercicio, pero no había ningún Miguel. ¿verdad? Miguel le va a tocar ah, después. Pues yo, yo, yo entendí mal. <risa> a ver, ah, otra pregunta. Emay, ajá. ¿Alguna mm. otra pregunta? Ay, mm. no, teacher. <ríe> Viene apagada ahora. Vamos a encendernos, pues. Ok, Wilmer. Ok. So, um, you were asking yourself some questions about being healthy, eating healthy, and things like that. So, the question is, um, how often do you eat junk food? Uh, every day, I think. Because really? I, because it's cheaper, I think it, it, good food is, is very expensive. So it's very to buy is on the street, you know. It, it's very, for example, pupusas, one quarter, one quarter of dollars. It's, it's very easy to pay that. Yeah, you're right. And they're delicious. Um, yeah. And what is your favorite junk food? Uh, oh. I think Chinese wow. food and pizza. <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Wilmer. Okay, you're okay. A ver, Jose Miguel. Teacher, yo no la hice. Not possible. Pero le, está, le está haciendo ahorita. A, a hacer la idea, pero no sé qué es lo que pide. Lo que pedimos es un párrafo um, usando el presente simple y el presente continuo. Puede hablar de lo que sea, cualquier cosa. Por supuesto, cosas que podamos hablar en público. Es eh, uh, a joke. <ríe> Entonces, eso. Un párrafo usando presente simple y presente continuo. De lo que usted quiera. Puede ser una rutina. Rutina sería solo presente simple. Tiene que meter también el continuo. Por eso es importante de qué lo iba a hacer, ¿verdad? Porque... Uno es para una cosa y otro es para otra cosa. Puede mezclar las dos cosas, pero si se habla solo de una, solo sería un tiempo. So, piénselo, haga ahí algo y vamos a ir viendo cómo depuramos. Ok. Ok, solo que no sé qué, tan, qué tantas personas hicieron el deber, porque si no, si son solo dos, en vivo nos va a tocar, ¿verdad? Y en directo hablar aquí, pasar al frente y hablar 12 minutos. Nice. Ok, Yuri. No sé por qué ya lo presentía. 
A ver, Yuri nos va a leer su maravilloso párrafo de 85 líneas. Es cortito, teacher. No, I know, don't worry. Si es cortito, no importa. El asunto es practicar inglés. That's the most important. Hello. Hello. This ended my core with but I, I am going to go tomorrow. I don't want to, to go, but I have responsibility. This day was very and stressful. Tomorrow I had a party with my family. My nephew is having this birthday. I had class in the afternoon and my son in and I go to the minute bar every every Friday. 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 Finish. Okay, very good. Como no dije quién iba a preguntar, yo les voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Yo sí les voy a preguntar bastante. Yuri, tell me, um, you say that you are going to work tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Go extra ahead. Or extra uh, or extra hours so that is good Ouch. and do you work all day long on the long are you working all day are you working all day? day all day tomorrow day. are you working all day uh, se el tiempo all day, all the day. Uh, no le entendí, teacher. All Tiene day. que decir, please repeat, o me puede decir, I don't understand. Y yo le trato de preguntar de otra manera. Repeat, please. Okay. Tomorrow, yes. are you working all day? Yes. Ah, okay. So you yes. finish at five? Uh, six. At six, you mind. Okay, and you say that you are studying, that you have classes. Uh, what are you studying? Uh, I study in the university. Oh, very good. Which career are you studying? The, I don't know how to say A ver, dígame, yo le digo. Eh, licenciatura en administración de empresas. Business administration. What? Business administration. Business administration. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, very good. So when you graduate, we are going to be colleagues. Good. Thank you for your paragraph. A ver, vamos a escuchar ahora. Okay, Jose Daniel quiere, dice, porque tiene mucho. Vamos ya de esto. Okay. I'm working in my house. I had on daughter, daughter, daughter. She studies, studies in the morning. Every day we have homework on the house, of the house and school. I work all day. At night I have class the English. She is watching TV in the moment. My wife, my wife, is eating. This day was very hot. My daughter, and I, my daughter and wife get up at 7, 7 30 a.m. She breakfast at 8 30 a.m. All day we spend very busy. We always uh, have things to do. Okay, very good. And the question that I have for you, well, I have a few questions. Uh, so you work at home, right? Yes. And your wife also works at home or are there at home all day long? Repeat, please. Okay. Uh, is also your wife at home? No, no. Ah, she, she works. Uh, she, she works. She works in office. Why? Uh, 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 a lawyer. Lawyer. Okay, very good. And uh, what time do you usually go to bed? Uh, usually 10.30 30 p.m. 10.30, okay, that's good. 
Okay, very well, thank you, Jose Daniel. It was very good. You're welcome. Okay, ahora vamos a escuchar a Elvin. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> it is Friday. This day my aunts are at home. They had come from Santa Ana and they are talking in the, in the living room. My body plays video games in the room. Why, my mother is cooking dinner, my cousin is playing doll, and my father is watching TV, and doing English homework. Okay, very good. Finish. So there are a lot of people at home today, eh? Yeah. How many people are there at home today? Seven people. Seven today. people, imagine. And uh, uh, are you eating dinner right now? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. I finished dinner. <laughs> okay, enjoy, very good. Thank you, Elvin. Okay. Okay, ahora vamos a escuchar a César. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher, tengo un poco de lag. Si se traba, ahí Ahí lo vamos a esperar. Right. It says on place that the weather is very cold. The princess was lost. She was walking and the bird asked her, Princess, why are you crying? She answered, I am lost, a safe cabin. The bird comfort her and took her cake of her. Very kindly took her to bed. She is been safe because car of her. Only that. Ok, no le escuchamos. Se quedó. Sí, eh, sí, había partes que no le escuchamos. But this is a story, right? And this story, um, did you invent this story? Yes. <laughs> ok. It's, uh, uh, it's oh, 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 the, the princess and one yeah, the bird. Very good. A bird. Okay, very good. The princess lost. She got lost, and the bird helps her. Bueno, se quedó ahí. Trying, pero se se teacher se traba. Yo no le escucho. Sí, fíjese de que creo que hay un problema ahí con el internet. Los demás sí lo veo bien fluidos, pero usted sí lo veo ahí que se queda Teacher. frozen. Hello. Ya, ya hice la tarea. Vale, vamos a escuchar a Juan Ricardo entonces. You are speaking English. She is working at the toilet. They are going to stay so next. Exact today. Today, if we know what yeah, there why is Sunni? A beer every way seems hungry. They elephant a play they weather. Okay. Hizo, uh, hizo oraciones por lo que estaba viendo. Very good. That's nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Day night. Okay. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Elsie. Teacher, yo no hice la tarea. En vivo, entonces. Así como José Daniel. José Daniel así lo hizo, no lo había escrito. Y aquí dijo, bueno, voy a contarles algo. Es que de no sé de qué hablar. De lo que sea que nos quiera contar. Whatever. No ando de humor. Bueno, ahí cuando, cuando se desahogue se va a sentir mejor. Ajá. Teacher, que cuente cuántas no. motos vende, diga. <risa> <risa> El asunto mm. es practicar inglés. Ay. Don't worry. Don't. 
Mm. Voy a hacer algo rápido y luego. Ah, vaya, vale, vamos a dejar de último. Sí. A ver, vamos a escuchar entonces a Delmi Janet. Teacher, I'm going out the meeting. Okay, are you coming back? Yes. Okay, good. I have a problem that the, the connection, computer, yeah. Or... Okay, that's fine. Uh, tell me, Jeanette. Hello. Creo que no puede ahorita. Escuchamos entonces, ¿quién? Nos faltan varios, ¿verdad? Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hola. Hello. Hello. Ok. Yo hice como, como una rutina, pero mezclada. Ok. Pero no es mía. Ok. <ríe> eh, se llama When Day at the Mall. Ok. No sé si así se dice centro comercial. Yep. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Mal o mall? Mall. Hola. Mall. Mall. Mm -hmm. Okay. She is Jessie. She is work in an office. She is an accountant. Usually her days off, she likes to go shopping at the mall. She spend is playing with her children and visiting and the clothing stores. In the afternoon, she has a coffee while the children are eating ice cream. Asayi. Okay, very good. So, um, is this person your friend or is invented? Is my friends. Okay. So, um, do you often see your friend? Repeat, please. Yes. Do you often see your friend? At um, weekends. On the weekends. Okay, very good. And uh, mm -hmm. do you always go to the to the mall? Repeat, please. Do you always go to the mall? Mm. Si sí, yo siempre voy al centro comercial, ¿verdad? Do you always go to the mall with her? Mm. Usualmente, usually. Usually. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, uh, let's listen now to Mabel Castaneda. Hello. Hello. Uh, I like in Mexicanos with my husband and my two daughters, uh, the uh, 11 and seven years old. Right now I am in English class. Tomorrow, Saturday, I will go for a walk Walk with my family. Finish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where are you going for a walk tomorrow? Como? Where are you going for a walk tomorrow? Uh, 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 Cerro Verde. Uh, really? That's good. And uh, do you always go out on the weekend? Yes. Very good. That is very, very nice. Okay. Thank you, Mabel. So now we're going to listen to uh, Ronald Gomez.
Dice, yo no hice la tarea de mayor pasado ahí, un poco reportando, pero no ah, la hizo. Pero así en vivo la puede decir, aquí le escuchamos. Pregúnteme, ¿hay algo? Pues? Lo que pasa es que usted nos cuenta y luego yo le pregunto. ¿Hola? Sí, usted nos cuenta de lo que usted quiera contarnos y luego yo le pregunto. Ahorita, lo, lo mismo hago, lo reposaron. Bueno, entonces. What do you do every day? Uh, my life, my life is don't, don't beautiful because red, no, half, half dark red, uh, all day. Um, my breakfast, uh, my breakfast, my breakfast is uh, very, very early, temprano. Early, huh? My breakfast very early. Okay. Okay, that's good. And what happened to you? Did you have an accident or something like that? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it, it's still here. I'm sorry? Uh, a surgery. Uh, for, uh, surgery for uh, operation programmatic. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, And uh, for, how many? For, for ligament flexion. Oh, I see. Yeah, that must be painful. And uh, uh, how many days are you going to rest? Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar entonces ahora con. Uh, Vamos a continuar con, nos falta Juan Josué, a ver. Ay, teacher, ay, ay. yo no la he terminado, la verdad, no, no me queda tiempo de, de hacerla, teacher. Bueno, la escuchamos aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a tratar de, de improvisar, digamos. Of course. Entonces, este, I go to the world, the... Weekdays in the in the working I I contains the the movement or the move. Okay. This is I working every day for the paseo. For a walk, that is a walk. For walk, uh -huh. it's the, um, I live in, in San, not in Soyapango. Okay. This, uh, for the night, I, I play in, in the, in the park. Okay. Este, a veces, va no siempre. Sometimes, ok. Este, sometimes. Is. <laughs> only that, teacher. Ok, very good. What do you play in the park? I, I play the basketball. Basketball, good. And you say that you play at night. At night. Okay. Sometimes. Um, how, how much time do you play? Is no mucho, la verdad. Okay, good. It's rarely. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. 
Now we are going to listen to Josue Isaac. Hello, teacher. Ajá, le escuchamos. Ok. Eh, sería, perdón. Eh, my friends eh, has a nice house. Mm -hmm. is eh, currently living okay. in the United States. Okay. He's, eh, he is living in El Salvador. Okay. So imagine walking down the street. Mm -hmm. Remember when he, he was a child. He, he said he is uh, planning to travel to El Salvador next month. Uh, his favorite food is pupusa. Okay. Solamente. Very good. And uh, what is your friend's name, you say? Uh, repeat, please. What is your friend's name? Uh, what is your friend's name? Name. Friend name? Name. Name. Uh, name. 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 ¿Cuál es el nombre de él? Name. Hello. Hello. Sí. What is his name? What is the name of the person? Name. Nombre. 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 No. Of the person. Your friend. Ah. My friends, uh, uh, Seria Deborah. Ah, okay, Deborah. Oh. Good. And uh, she's coming next month, you say. Uh, perdón, teacher, no lo entendí mucho. So, just confirming, you say that she's coming next month to El Salvador. Uh, Next month is uh, next month. No, pero es que no sé cómo, cómo, cómo decirle, la verdad. Okay, trate de escuchar la pregunta. Sería, is she coming next month to El Salvador? Que si viene ella el próximo mes a El Salvador. Ah. Por eso, yes. quizás ahí lo que tienen que tratar de hacer es no traducir todo o no decir eso, no lo entiendo. Trate de escuchar toda la oración para poder um, tratar de... But that was good, perfect. Ok, now we're going to listen to... A ver, ¿quién nos falta? Nos faltan varios, ¿verdad? Uh, Roxana. Hi, Teach. Hello. Hello, teach. ¿Y cómo qué le puedo contar? Dijo. Lo que usted quiera. Me debe ser mm. en inglés. Tomorrow uh, I will go to study um, en La Palma. Ok. Um, and live at 12 p.m. PM. 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Uh, they. Then I go to the supermarket y tomorrow and tomorrow I have to work again. Really? Yeah. So are you working tomorrow? Sí. Okay. But you're yes. not working at night? Um, yeah. At night again? Sí. Sí, sí. Well, that's not good. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> ni a mí, pero ni modo. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the way it is. Perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, we are going to listen now to uh, Nora. <clears throat> Sara is an announcer. She works in a radio station. She usually works to work back today. She is driving because she feels asleep. She regularly listens to classical music on her way to work. Sarah lights to the new tents. She exercises every day. Sometimes she goes with her family to beach. Okay, very good. Uh, is this, uh, perfect, thank you. Uh, and Sarah, does she... Um, do you see very often to Sarah? Please repeat, teacher. Do you, do you see, or do you often see Sarah? Often. How often do you see Sarah? Do you often? How often do you see Sarah? Or do you? Meet her. Meet her. Um, I don't know. Stand then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. And where does Sarah live? Sarah. Where does Sarah live? Live. Mm -hmm. Um. San Salvador. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Jose Miguel. Ahorita, teacher. Okay. Terminando los tablas. Okay. <laughs> um, I am eating healthy food because I have obesity grade one. I am way, way, way high, uh, 210 points. I am going to the gym on the week and I am cycling in the mountain on the Sunday. Okay. So you are a very active person. That's good. And, uh, um, how often do you go to the gym? Um, three or four, three or four days a week. Mm, okay, that's good. Do you go to the gym on Saturdays and Sundays? No. Okay, very good. Okay. Because, I, because the, the gym is Close. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Okay, ahora vamos a escuchar a Silvia Patricia. Okay. Uh, my friend um, Carlos is living in San Salvador. He is currently working in a a coding film. Sometimes he's late for work because he finds a lot of traffic. He's studying English because he has likes that language. He hardly ever eats junk food. He likes to do exercise, but he doesn't have much time. His favorite color is green. Okay, very good, Sylvia. And uh, how often do you meet your friend? Um, twice a week. 
Mm, okay. Uh, is he a co-worker? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, a ver, ¿quién nos falta? Uh, Elsie. Okay. I feel tired and I really want to sleep all weekend, but I can't, I can't because I have to work tomorrow. And the week has been very difficult and I would like to go to the beach or some or other place. to relax, no sé. Okay, very good. So, uh, are you always working on Saturdays? Yes. Okay. And what is your favorite place to relax? Um, the mountain. The mountain. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Or, okay. or, uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. No. Nah. <laughs> okay. Nah. Okay. Uh, creería yo que ahora, ah, no, Delmi, Janet, no falta, pero no si se puede. Hello, Delmi. Creo que no se puede. Bueno, eh, en general muy bien. Eh, quizás yo pensaría que sí, los que no lo hicieron con anticipación fue un poco complicado, ¿verdad? Ya sea que lo escribiera en el momento o que lo, que lo dijera en vivo. Sin embargo, estuvo bastante bien. Uh, hay que tener cuidado con los tiempos nada más, pero muy bien. No hubo tantos, tantos errores. Estuvo nice, very good. También el objetivo es eh, ver cómo nos entendemos, ¿verdad? Como les decía, por eso hacemos a veces conversaciones. Yo pudiera conversar con todos, pero a veces escucharse entre ustedes es diferente. Eh, diferentes acentos, diferentes pronunciaciones y nos ayuda a depurar ciertas cosas. Si tenemos tiempo, vamos a hacer más conversaciones later on. Eh, bueno, eh, vamos a ver algunas páginas del libro que vamos ahí un poquito trazados, pero antes vamos a pasar lista. Ok. Alejandra Guadalupe Orellana García. César Mauricio Pérez Avilés. César Romeo Magaña Valle. Present. Ok. Uh, Delmi Janet Rivas Rojas. Present. Ay, ahora sí, ven. Elsie Guadalupe Gil Cerón. Present. Good. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present. Good. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present. Present. Good. José Miguel Acenón Peñate. Present teacher. Good. Juan Josué Morales Pérez. Here teacher. Good. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado. Lucía Jamilet Cruz Mejía. Mabel Cindy Castaneda Rivera. Present. Good. Nora Lizette Esquivel de Valte. Here. Oscar Edenilson Martínez Silva. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Here, teacher. Okay. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Good. Sandra L. Leticia Quintanilla Solano. Present. Good. Wilfredo Alejandro Esperanza Ramírez. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Good. Yuri Lisset Hernández de Marroquín. Present. Good. Josué Isaac Gómez Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Osorio Polanco. Present. Good. Perfect. Ahora sí, vamos a ver algunas páginas del libro. Recordemos que siempre hay de repente prácticas interesantes. So here we go. 
Okay, let's see. Uh -uh. Let me just change something here. Hold on a second. Let me change it. Aquí está. ¿La quién qué? Ah, la máscara. I don't know. Ok, eh, vamos a ver un pequeño video. Ah, pero le tengo que poner el audio. Ok. Hold on a second. Ok, que se van a escuchar y ver. We listen all the story. Hey Marissa, what are your plans for Friday? Hey, can you duck? I will be shopping on Friday. It's really easy. I will be working on my science report and I will be working on my English essay. Will you be watching the new Mission Impossible movie out on Saturday? No, I will not be watching the movie since I have so much work to do. Sam and I will be watching the movie on Saturday. Do you want to join us? Sounds like fun! Yeah, I would love to go with you guys. What time do you think you guys will be leaving to go to the movies? Sam and I will be leaving around 12.30 since we live close to the movie theater. What time will you be leaving? I think I will be leaving my house at 12 to be on time for the movies. Will you be attending the party that Bill will be hosting on Saturday? What do you think people will be doing at the party? I think everybody will be celebrating that it's the weekend finally. Oh, I just remembered. I can't come with you and Sam to watch the movie on Saturday. Why not? I have to pick my aunt up from the airport. I will be waiting for her when her plane arrives at the airport, and then I will be taking her to her hotel where she will be staying. It's okay. Are you with your schedule for another time? Well, we're going to see the outside. Yeah, sounds good. Well, I'm going to go walk my dog. I will be eating dinner at 7 p.m., so call me before if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Bye. A ver, ¿qué entendimos ahí? Ocupamos futuro progresivo. Sí, ocupamos bastante futuro para planes. Estamos hablando de planes, de ciertas situaciones. ¿Ok? Y aquí tenemos otro, solo que el otro me pareció raro que estuvieron ocupando. No, 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 no. Something is going on there. Sí, sir, yo no escuché el audio. Ah, qué raro. Los demás se escucharon, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es que se escuchan como unos niños discutiendo al fondo. Por eso sí, que ya no que... alcanzan a escuchar el audio. Y creo que algo así sucede revisado. Sí, pregunte ahí a alguien que ponga en silencio el, el micrófono. Sí, porque, porque, estoy en feo. Sí, porque yo no puedo ahorita porque estoy presentando. So, póngalo ahí en mute, please, Pero... everybody. Sí, porque todavía se escucha. Futuro continuo, ten sedos. Hello? Hi, Bob. This is Dad. Oh, hi, Dad. How are you? Pretty good. How's Mom? He's fine. So what can you do? Nothing much. I think there's someone there. I have to leave you to present it to see who it is. I don't know who it is. Hey, Juan Ricardo is the only one who is standing up, teacher. Bye, we put it on mute. No. Ah. It's closed. No, it's not closed, but I turned it off. Okay. Let's continue. Now, yes. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one. 
all McJohn has a farm. Here we go. Everybody's okay here. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Will you be home this evening? Yes, I will. I'll be reading. Oh, and how about Louise? Will she be home this evening? Yes, she will. She'll be writing some letters. What will Danny be doing? He'll be studying for a big math test. And how about Julie and Laura? They'll be playing with their toys and watching TV. Oh, that's nice. It sounds like you're all going to be very busy. Say, Dad, what will you and Mom be doing this evening? Oh, nothing much. I guess we'll be staying home. You'll be staying home? Yes, I suppose so. Well, I have a great idea. What's that, Bob? Can you and Mom come over for dinner this evening? We can have a nice dinner, and then you can play with the kids for a while. That sounds nice, Bob. Thank you. How 6.30? 6.30? I'm sure that'll be fine. We'll see you then. Bye, Dad. Bye. Is there someone you should call? A message from your telephone company. Ok, hasta ahí vamos a ver este. Eh, um, ¿Qué se entendió en esta parte? Did you understand anything? ¿Qué entendieron? The old man is the father, right? Yeah. The old man is the father and they were planning things, right? Yeah. Okay. He was about to meet them. Exactly. Everybody... Yeah, they were asking about the plans. Estaban hablando de los planes que tenía y al final pues terminó invitándolo. Ok, esas son buenas prácticas para que oigan un acento natural americano. So the other one says how to use present continuous for future events. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Sí, la estructura ya lo sabemos, es el sujeto, el verbo to be y el verbo, el gerundio, que es el ing, más el complemento. Y esto es para futuro, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. Esta acción va a tomar lugar mañana. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She is interviewing them at 5 p.m. Igual futuro, ¿verdad? ¿A qué hora lo va a entrevistar? Y luego dice en la siguiente, I am wait, uh, writing the report next week. Nice, I am sending it as soon as you finish. Todo esto es futuro. ¿verdad? Creo que esto pues ya más o menos lo conocíamos. Entonces vamos a, a hacer el ejercicio number four. And scramble the following words to create sentences. Vamos a ordenar y la vamos a poner en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones. La primera ya está ahí. Sería como José is receiving the, the new workers tomorrow. ¿Cómo sería entonces the number two, my friends? Marcin, they is the next week. Is Mark sending their... Mark is sending the letters the next week. Very good. Mark is sending the letters the next week. That will be perfect. Number three, uh, ¿cómo quedaría? Janet is... Okay. Janet is reports working. No. No. Yo know, bien con Jane... Jane, Jane is working, Denton working is on the report tonight. On okay, report. very good. Jane is working on the report tonight. Okay, that is future as well, esta noche. Ahorita ya de noche, pero si fuera una oficina es futuro. Number four, ¿cómo quedaría? Walter is saying his They check today. Very good. Walter is, uh, esa se pronuncia signing. Porque singing es cantando, pero signing es firmando. Ok, entonces si se fijan, va al revés. Aquí va primero la G y luego la N. Entonces se diría signing. 
Walter is signing the checks today. Good. Number five, ¿cómo queda el número cinco? Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Very good. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Okay, good. Number six. Guillermo going to tomorrow is the pan. No. Guillermo okay. is going to the uh, bank tomorrow. Very good, that is it. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Si se fijan casi siempre la time expression va al final, ¿verdad? So, también podría ir al principio, ¿verdad? Pero al final queda, creo mejor. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Good, good. So, we're not going to do this, but we're going to check the conversation. Esta está un poquito más larga. Está nice. Vamos a repetir. Everybody, here we go. Good afternoon, Raul. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Ring mouse. Good afternoon, Ryan. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am playing, uh, planning, sorry. Well, I am planning. Well, I am planning. A video conference. A video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? Oh, oh the conference, conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? What is your team doing right now? Now? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, is. it is. They are getting ready. They are they getting are, they ready. ready for the conference in the meeting room. For the, for the conference, conference in the meeting room. I see. I see. I see. What time do you usually? What time, what time do you usually, time to do usually? get to your workplace? Get to your workplace. workplace. Okay. What's the first thing you do? What's, What's the, the first, first thing, thing you do? do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. I do. And you? And you? Well, I arrive at seven. Well, I arrive at seven. seven. Or seven thirty. Or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. It depends on traffic. My first activity is. My first activity, activity is. is to pick up the letters. To pick to up the letters. Pick up the letters. Ok, very good. Pick up the letters. A ver, creo que no hay muchas palabras nuevas. Video conference. En inglés es video. Video conference. Uh, let's see. Team. ¿Qué es team? Equipo. Equipo. Very good. Uh, <laughs> sí. Uh, pick up, ¿qué es? Pick up es recoger. Okay. Recoger. Eh, creería que estas son las únicas, no hay más. Do you have any questions? No question. Ok, if you don't have any question, we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar. Va a iniciar Elsie y le va a ayudar Wilmer. Ok. Good afternoon. Raúl, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? 
well, arrive at seven or uh, seven thirty. Thirty. Uh, it's dependence of traffic. My first uh, activity is to pick up of the letters. Very good. Now, ahora va a iniciar Juan Ricardo y le va a ayudar Delmi Janet. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, they conference when they nail team in San Salvador. Why is whole team don't ring now? Yes, it is. They are getting re ready. ready for the conference in the meeting room. Is it with time to do outside here to do work, please? What's the first things you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, it arrives seven, uh, seven thirty. The pains of traffic. My first activity is to pick which they like her. Okay, very good. Thank you. Ahora va a iniciar Elvin y le va a ayudar José Daniel. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning and being a conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get up to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? You do? I usually read as <laughs> Six thirty, and the first thing I do is check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, very good. Ahora eh, le va a iniciar Nora y le va a ayudar Yuri. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you going right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video, video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. The I carry ready for the conference in the meeting meeting room? I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first sense do you? I usually arrive at 7.30 and am. And the first thing I do is to check it may and you well i write at 7 or 7 30 in depend of traffic my first activity is to pick up the letter okay very good now uh cesar starts and jose miguel okay. good afternoon Raul. what are you doing right now Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a robot. 
sí, la, la primera parte se escuchó muy bien. Sí. Se escucharon, ¿no? Voy a continuar. Ok. Oh, the conference, oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually, I usually arrive at 6 p.m. And the first thing I do is my email in June. Well, I arrive at seven or the or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My activity is to only that. Si se escuchó, good. Si se oh, okay. No, no si se escuchó. That was good. Perfect. Thank you. Ahora inicia Roxana y le va a ayudar Sandra. Tengo okay, teacher. Una... A ver, ¿tiene una duda alguien ahí? A ver. Yo. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Eh, seis y media y siete y media. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Seis y media es que yo he escuchado, um, bueno, varias pronunciaciones, de hecho. ¿Cómo pronuncian seis y media y siete y media? O sea, en sí los números. Sería six thirty y seven thirty. Ah, ok. Cuando dicen 30, ¿están diciendo qué número, teacher? Ninguno, no existe. Está mal pronunciado. Ah, es 30. 30. 30. Ok, mm -hmm. gracias. You're welcome. Ahora sí. Yes, please. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What they first? Then you do. I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Will I write at um, 7 7 7 30? Mm -hmm. 7 or 7 30? It depends. On traffic, my first activity is to pick, pick up the letter. Okay, very good. Ahora va a iniciar Ronald Gómez y le va a ayudar Silvia Patricia. Okay, teacher, I'm going. Uh, hey, Ryan. Okay. Yeah. Good afternoon, Raúl. Uh, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team is the Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it, yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is uh, to check my email and you. Uh, well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 
seven two it depends on traffic. My field activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, very good, thank you. Ahora va a iniciar Josué Isaac y como ya repetimos todos, eh, Delmi le puede ayudar. Okay. 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 Solo no sé si Delmi puede. Hello, Delmi. Mm, ok. Bueno, Hi, no. Ah, ok, vale, le va a ayudar José Daniel. Empe empecé. Okay, good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the next team in San Salvador. What, what is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see what time do you usually get to your for good do you usually get to your workplace while their feet in guru? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check in my email and you all right uh, seven or uh, seven six in Japan on traffic my feet activity is to speak in the letter. Very good, thank you very much. Uh let's see now. Mm, no. Let me just remember. No. Okay, uh how to use simple present versus present continuous. Esto como se recuerdan es como un repaso de la semana. Okay, we use simple present for general information. Bueno, vamos a repetir. Esto ya lo conocemos, pero como son ejemplos, hay que ir puliendo la pronunciación. We use simple present. We use simple you present. Use the present. For general information. For general okay, information. information. Routine activities. Routine activities. I check my email every morning. I, I check my email every morning. morning. He writes reports about meetings. He writes, he writes reports about, about meetings. She audits inventories. She audits inventories. Inventory. They arrange meetings. They, they arrange, arrange meetings. meetings. We use present continuous for we use present continuous for ongoing actions. Ongoing action. 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 At the time of speaking. At the time of speaking. I am planning a video conference. I am I planning a video conference. conference. They are getting the documents ready. They are getting the documents ready. ready. She is editing the information. She is editing information. The secretary is making a phone call. The secretary is making a phone call. Ok, very good. Entonces, queda claro aquí, ¿verdad? Presente simple para rutina es información en general. Y la, el continuo, el presente continuo para acciones que están sucediendo. Vamos a completar este ejercicio. La primera ya está hecha y dice Thomas is printing the contract. La número dos, ¿cómo sería? Meeting. Meeting with meeting. Meeting. Ok, very good. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Is meeting. Ok. Number three, ¿cómo queda? Tac. Tac. He's, he's taking care of, he's the, taking of everything. He's taking care, care of everything. Care of everything? No, no, no. Okay. okay. Number four. Pay. I am paying attention. 
Oh. I am paying. La pronunciación sería ah, paying, paying. Paying attention to the instructions. Good. Number five. ¿Cómo queda? She is preparing the breakfast. 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 She to pray. The the pray the she. The pray the she the greenly. Okay. She is preparing the briefing. Very good. Number six. ¿Cómo queda? They are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Are sending, sería el, lo correcto. Y luego warehouse, ¿qué es warehouse? La bodega. Bodega, very good. Mm, we're not going to do the part B. Uh, let's see. Okay, tenemos otra conversation. That is good. Everybody, let's repeat. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. What are some activities? What, what are some activities, activities you are doing this week? You are doing, doing this week. This week. week. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things. Well, there, there are, are many things. things. Mm -hmm. I am doing this week. I am doing this week. For example, for example, I am signing some payrolls. I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Tuesday. And sending emails. And sending emails on Wednesday. On Wednesday. And you? And you? And you? That's yes. okay. That's okay. Okay. I am talking to colleagues. I am yeah, talking, talking to colleagues. To, to Colleen. And checking reports. Checking reports. Report. Report. And who is analyzing? And who, who is analyzing, analyzing? The advances in the company. The advances in the company. The, the company. Peter is. Peter is. Okay, chequemos vocabulario. Let's see what are you doing. Many things. ¿Qué es many things? Muchas cosas. Muchas cosas. Good. Luego dice signing. ¿Se acuerdan qué signing? Firmando. Firmando. Very good. Sign no es lo mismo que sing, ¿verdad? Signing. Y luego dice son payrolls. ¿Qué es payroll? Ok, payroll ah. es planilla. La planilla de pago. Dice okay. on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. That's okay. Colleagues, what is colleagues? Colegas. Colegas, very good. Y creo que lo demás está claro. Vamos a practicar. Oh, do you have any question before we continue? No question. No questions. Eh, vamos a hacer la práctica entonces. Hoy va a iniciar. A ver. Juan Ricardo. Y le va a ayudar Elsie. Ok. Elio, Mari, why are so active? You are done. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I. I am doing this week, for example, I am si signing, signing, signing. Some, signing some play roles on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday and you. Thank you, you. I man, thank you this college and chicken reports. And who is analyzing the advance in, in the company? Advances. Peter. Advances in the company. Peter Ish. Good, perfect. Ahora va a empezar Wilmer y le va a acompañar Sandra. Now 
antes se escuchó bastante interferencia. Ok. No le escuchamos nada, solo se ocupa, se escucha una interferencia. Ah, yo, espere. Qué raro. Voy a traer. ¿Ahorita? Ok, sí. Ok, madre. <risa> Hoy sí, hello, yo estoy probando sonido. Nice. Sí. Ok. ¿Con quién voy? Con Sandra. Oh, ok. Hello, Sandra. What are, you, what are some activities you are doing this week? I rose well. There are many things I am doing this week. For, for example, I am singing some Tiny. fireworks. On Wednesday, Tuesday, and Tuesday, and setting email on Wednesdays, and you? That's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyze the advance in the company? ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Analyzing. Analyzing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Peter is. Very good, perfect. Ahora va a iniciar Nora y le va a ayudar José Daniel. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I am signing some payroll. And Thursday and sending email and Wednesday and you. On Wednesday. Thanks. Okay. I am talking to Collins and check your report. And who is Anna? And who is Anal? Anna, analyzing. Analyzing the advance and the company. Piri is. Okay. Very good. Ahora va a iniciar okay. César. Y le va a ayudar Yuri. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, they are, they are many things. I doing this week for example. Example, I am singer, signing, signing some. Planning. Payroll. Payroll. On Tuesday. And signing in May on Wednesday in June. Thanks. Okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analysis? Analysis. Analyzing the advising in the company. Here it is. Okay, very good, perfect. Ahora va a iniciar Roxana y le va a ayudar José Miguel. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well. There are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am singing some playroom. Signing. On the signing. On Thursday and signing emails on Wednesday. And you? Thumbs, okay. I am talking to colleagues, come on. Colleagues. Um, colleagues. Colleagues and checking report. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. 
Ok, very good. Ahora eh, va a iniciar um, Delmi Janet, ¿puede? A veces no tiene internet. No, creo que no. Bueno, va a iniciar entonces Josué Isaac y le va a ayudar Elvin. Ok, teacher. Hello, guys. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls. Same. On Tuesday, I'm sending emails. On Wednesday, I do. Okay, I am thinking for uh, colleagues. Uh -huh. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Analyzing. Analyzing the advance in the company. Analyzing. Peter is. Ok, good. Ahora va a iniciar a um, Silvia Patricia y le va a ayudar Mabel. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sign signing. Signing. Some, Perdón? Signing. Signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday and you. That's okay. I am talking to police and checking reports. And who is uh, analyzing? Analyzing. The, an, analyzing the advance in the company. Peter is. Okay. Ahora eh, va a iniciar, vamos a repetir con, a ver, Nora va a iniciar y le va a ayudar eh, Ronald, que no ha leído. Hello, Mary. What are some activities activity you are doing this week? Hi Rose, well, there are many things I'm going with, for example, I'm signing some payroll on Tuesday and sending a mail on Wednesday, and you? Thanks, okay, I am talking to Collins and Chicky Report. Uh, who is analyzing the advance in the company? Analyzing. And uh, who is analyzing the albums in the company? Very is. Okay, very good, perfect. Ahora sí creo que ya leímos todo, verdad. Eh, solo algunas. Es que yo no. Ahí, pero le estuvimos llamando tres ocho veces. Vaya, hágalo conmigo. Eh, sí, le, le llamamos un par de veces. Empiezo yo. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? hacer esto más grande. No miro. Um, hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing signing some payroll on Tuesday and sending <laughs> email on Wednesday and you. Uh, that's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is who? analyzing? Uh -huh. Who is analyzing the advance advances in the company? Advances in the company. Peter is okay. Uh, solo algunas cosas en pronunciación. A ver, es este cuando cuando tenemos este verbo. Para todos, ¿verdad? Esto es para todos. Hay algunas que, personas que dicen doing. And no es doing, es doing. What are you doing? Are doing, doing. this week? Doing. Okay? Doing. Not doing. Doing is not correct. 
Ok, ¿Qué otro? aquí hay otro. I am doing this week, doing, ¿verdad? Esta palabra es nueva, entonces hay que tener cuidado con signing. Sign. Sign. Que no es lo mismo que sin. Sin es cantar, Pero, sign es firmar. Y eh, play go. Play go. Eh, Así es. Payroll. Así como está escrito. Payroll. Esa no le cambiamos más que la A. Payroll. Y luego Payroll. tenemos Wednesday. Esa hay que tener. Wednesday. 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 La única Wednesday. letra que no se pronuncia es la E. Como que no está la E, vamos a hacer. Wednesday. 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 When day. Y el martes sería Tuesday. Tuesday. Let's see, colleagues. Who... Analyzing también. Esa es analyzing. Analyzing. E y esta la dicen bien, solo que no lo dicen en plural. Bueno, no es Advanced. plural. Sí, es que es plural. Sería advances. Advances. Yo digo Advanced. solo ad advance, eso es singular. Se puede, existe, pero es singular. Y allí dice advances. Advances. Good. Let's see, hay un ejercicio aquí. What are some activities Mary is doing this week? Ajá. Uh -huh. De acuerdo al reading, ¿verdad? La conversation. Okay. Advances. Very good. Very good. So, Mary... So Mary is uh, signing some payrolls and sending payroll. emails. Esa sería la respuesta. Las dos. Tiene que llevar las dos. Number two. Payroll. Um, no, esta no la vamos a ver. Let's see. Um, este es un pequeño reading. Vamos a repetirlo. Everybody, here we go. Organize yoga classes. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office, if you work if in you office, work at a house office, and your employees, and your employees are sitting at computers every day, sitting at computers every day, every day. don't underestimate. No, the impact yoga, the impact yoga, yoga, and yoga could have on their attitude. Attitude and outlook. outlook. Yoga can help. Yoga can help. Alleviate stress. Alleviate stress. stress. Calm the mind. Calm the mind. mind. Release tension. Release tension. Release tension. Improve brain. Improve brain. brain. Function and lift mood. Function and lift mood. What buzz wouldn't want. What, what was, was one, one, one. those outcomes? Those, those outcomes. outcomes. Ok, vamos a leer la siguiente. La vamos a leer todas primero y luego vamos a, a chequear los significados de algunas palabras. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Celebrate birthdays. You don't have to. You don't have to. Rely on business. Rely of business. Games to boost morale. Games, Games to boost morale. morale. Simply. Simply. Acknowledging. 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 Special occasions. Special, special occasions. Can have a big impact. Can have a big, big impact. 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 ¿Cómo es? Impact. 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 It shows your team. It shows your team. That you care about. That you care about. You care about, about them as people. Them as, as people. Not just as employees. Not just as employees. Not just as employees. employees. Get everyone. Employees. Get yeah, everyone, everyone. everyone to sign a card. 
to sleep. Nine, 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 nine. Have cake once a month. Or simply buy them. Or simply buy them around around of coffee. Each time someone in your team has a birthday. In your team has a birthday. Paintball. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office of the office can work wonders can wonder 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 for staff morale for staff morale watch out talk watch out talk as the bus as the bus you're going to be a prime target you're going to be a prime target guess who Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone and then everyone, 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 everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit easy. Lighthearted fun that will definitely Help lift spirits. While offering plenty of humor along the way. Along the way. Okay. Veamos algo de palabras. Organize your classes, employees in your computer. Underestimate. Que es underestimate. Subestimar. Subestimar. Very good. A ver, cool es. ¿Qué es cool? ¿Saben ustedes qué es cool? Oh, cool. Pasado Bien, de can. No. Pasado de Bien, can. No. Podría. Ok. Oh. Attitude. ¿Qué es attitude? Actitud. Bueno. Actitud. Very good. Uh, outlook en este caso es como un punto de vista. Uh, alleviate. Aliviar. Alivia. Aliviar el estrés, ¿verdad? Calm the mind. ¿Qué dice ahí? Calma la mente. Calma la mente. Release tension. ¿Ahí qué dice? Relaja la tensión. Relaja la tensión. Y luego dice improve. ¿Qué es improve? Mejorar. Mejorar. ¿Y brain qué es brain? Cerebro. Cerebro. Entonces, mejora las funciones del cerebro en lift. ¿Qué es lift? Como soltar o... En este caso sería levantar. Entonces, levanta los ánimos. Mood en este caso es ánimo, ¿verdad? Eh, what was, wouldn't want the outcomes? ¿Qué jefe no quisiera esos resultados? Outcomes es resultados. Oh. Ok. En el número dos, dice celebrate birthdays. Recordemos que cuando decimos birthday, lleva una TH y el sonido es birthday. Birthday. Yo sé que en español decimos happy birthday, y ya verá. Pero si yo digo, okay. le digo a alguien happy birthday y le estoy diciendo feliz día del pájaro. Entonces, puede que sea el día del pájaro. <risa> <¿verdad>? Pero... <risa> Entonces, es 
birthday. Birthday. Okay. So uh, you don't just have rely. Yes, rely. Rely in este caso es como confiar. Confiar en juegos de negocio, dice. Para recargar o cargar la moral. O sea, para levantar la moral nuevamente. Eh, simple es simplemente a ver qué es acknowledging. Acknowledging. Acknowledging es como reconocer. Ok. Special cases can have a big impact. It shows your team that you are care about. Let's see. Sign. ¿Qué era sign? Firmar. Firmar. Very good. Aquí el verbo está sin el ing. Sign. Y el otro era signing. A cake once a month. Let's see. A round of coffees. Creo que lo demás está claro. Paintball. ¿Sabe qué? ¿Saben ustedes qué es paintball? Pintura. Es cuando ustedes van a dispararse los unos a los otros con pintura, ¿verdad? Con las armas de pintura. Hay varios lugares en San Salvador. Luego dice, give your employees opportunity to let off some steam. Esta es una frase entera. To let off some steam es como sacar el estrés o algo por el estilo. Organizando un día de paintball. Dice, um, dice que... Uh, simplemente salir de la oficina puede sacarse, salirse del trabajo, wonders work, uh, for staff moral, y aumenta la moral del staff. Pero luego dice, watch out, ¿qué era watch out? Eso ya lo habíamos visto, a ver. Cuidado. Cuidado, eso es imperativo, ¿verdad? Watch out, thug. Thug es aunque. Se ocupa mucha esa palabra en inglés. Aunque tengan cuidado. Dice que como el jefe van a ser el, el objetivo principal. Sí, verdad. Si usted es el jefe, le van a querer disparar. So. Guess who? Guess, guess who? Adivina quién. Adivina quién. Esta actividad es bonita. Dice, uh, pregúntale a todos o... Oh, Pídele a todos. Bring, ¿qué es bring? Traer. Traer. Pídenle a todos traer a uh, childhood. ¿Qué es childhood? Niñez. Niñez. Una foto de la niñez de ellos mismos, de themselves. Eso no lo hemos visto, pero ya lo vamos a ver. Lo llamamos reflexives. And put them all up on the board. Y ponerlos, hay que poner las fotos en una pizarra y luego dice and then get everyone to put their best guesses y luego hagan que todos pongan sus mejores que era guess suponer suponer adivinar verdad entonces es como que todos dicen Ay, yo creo que esta que está aquí es Nora no no es Nora es alguien más no sé uh, guesses forward on each one forward sería como uh, Siguiendo después de la foto. Uh, it's a bit of easy, lighthearted. Ahí cuando dice it's a bit of easy, lighthearted, dice que es no solo divertido, sino que bonito. Uh, y dice, I definitely help lift spirit. ¿Qué era lift? ¿Se acuerdan? Levantar el, Levantar el espíritu. ¿verdad? Wild. ¿Qué era wild? Mientras, ok. Offering plenty of, se le ofrece plenty, que era plenty. Plena. Ese sería como abundante, como que mucho, ah, bueno. mucho o humor along the way sería uh, en el camino. So it's a very good activity. Ok, vamos a hacer el ejercicio abajo. Um, true or false? That's the question. Yoga has an important effect on employees. True or false? De acuerdo a lo que estaba en el reading. True. 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 Good. Number two. Yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. True. True. False. False. Esa es falsa. Porque dice, it doesn't calm the mind. Y ahí arriba dice que sí calma. Aquí está en negativa. So, it's not correct. 
is false. Number three, it says, based on the reading, special occasions are not important. False. False, that is false. Number four, workers can play paintball inside the office. False. 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 Sería interesante, pero no creo que nos dejen, ¿verdad? Um, childhood photos can offend employees. False. 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 Esto no lo dice el reading, pero si se acuerdan el, el módulo pasado, yo les recomendaba que si media vez la información no esté y le pidan un true or false, siempre vamos a poner false, porque no se sabe, no está dicho. Ok. Um, bueno, no tenemos tiempo de leer porque ya se nos acabó la cora. Está bien interesante este, este ruido. Entonces, <ríe> vamos a pasar lista. Eso sí lo vamos a hacer. Y antes de pasar lista, déjenme verificar a quién le toca el one one, que no les he dicho porque ya no me sale aquí. No creo que sí me sale. No, no me sale. One record. Él sí. A ver, le toca a Wilmer. Yeah, ok. Very good. Entonces, después de pasar lista y si hay preguntas, pues ahí nos quedamos platicando. Uh, por ahorita vamos a pasar lista. Here we go. Alejandra Guadalupe Orellana García. César Mauricio Pérez Avilés. Tercer Romeo Magaña Valle. Eh. Good. Tell me, Janet Rivas Rojas. Present. Elsie Guadalupe Gil Cerón. Present. Good. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present. Good. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present. Good. José Miguel Azenón Peñate. Present. Good. Eh, a ver, Juan Josué Morales Pérez. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado. Present, teacher. Good. Lucía Jamilet Cruz Mejía. Mabel Cindy Castaneda Rivera. Present. Good. Nora Lisette Esquivel de Valte. Here. Good. Oscar Edenilson Martínez Silva. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Good. Sandra L. Leticia Quintanilla Solano. Present. Good. Wilfredo Alejandro Esperanza Ramírez. Present. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Good. Yuri Lizette Hernández de Marroquín. Josué Isaac Gómez Rivas. And Silvia Patricia Osorio Polanco. Present. Good, perfect. Ok, uh, antes de finalizar, ¿hay alguna pregunta, duda? Eh, estamos terminando ahora ya lo que sería el presente continuo. Entonces. Eh, y también la comparación con el presente simple. ¿Hay preguntas con eso? Eso es importante porque lo vamos a estar. Lo vamos a estar este, usando. El presente continuo no, no vamos a seguir este, haciendo lo, lo que estamos haciendo en la práctica ahora. O sea, todos los tiempos, todo lo que ya vimos va a seguir apareciendo, ¿verdad? Solo que cuando empecemos a ver otros temas, a veces nos enfocamos más en este tema. Mm -hmm. Ok, okay. Good. Any other question? No. Go in, go near. Ok, entonces, my friend, it was a pleasure. Recordemos que hay que hacer las, las tareas. Eh, tendríamos que tener hecho hasta la tarea 15 este día. Para mañana yo temprano 
estar enviando las, um, no. las notas a Instaform. Eso es importante, por eso es importante que las llevemos al día. La otra semana estaríamos terminando. Recordemos que hay que hacer el examen final. El, lo podríamos hacer jueves ya. Jueves para viernes tener todo listo. Y también las tareas lo podemos tener ya listas para jueves. Y el viernes lo más probable es que vayamos a hacer la encuesta de Ilinsa Forb. Si ya les enviaron la del maestro, es así y ya la pueden hacer. ¿Verdad? Yes. Yes. Oh. Good, good. <risa> ten, ten. Dígame. Eh, Ajá. Gran bonche que hay ahí, teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Entonces, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. Have a happy weekend and have a good night. Rest very well. Tomorrow. Ah, no, no. No, hasta el Monday. <laughs> <laughs> hasta el Monday. <laughs> teacher, uh -huh. Monday, Monday is, is vacation. Pues para nosotros acá, no. Ah, no. <laughs> No, nosotros sí vamos a, a tener la clase. So, eh, oh, creería oh, yo que la... Ingratos. Ay, que nosotros somos de Santa Ana. <risa> es que ella sí, quiere ir a la playa, hombre. Entonces, pero está enojada, Nora, ahorita. Y a no, Santa Ana. Sí, la verdad es que como son centralizadas en San Salvador, entonces por eso sí hay clase. Si hubiéramos tenido programado las clases para agosto, para la primera semana, ahí sí hubiéramos descansado un par de días. Pero la de Santa Ana, pues, no va en la fiesta nacional. ¿no? <risa> Por eso, quiere ir al parque. También se puede, ¿verdad? Eso. Nos vamos al parque sí. para nos regresamos. Están prohibidas las fiestas, sí. Sí, eso es verdad. Entonces, mejor no, practicamos. Una, bueno. pero no hay una moto mejor. Yamaha. Ajá. Una moto Yamaha hay que ir. Así, un candy. Ok. Ah. Un Jexi, un Jexi, un Jexi. Un Jexi. Yeah, that would be good. Se llama hoy Ron el Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, my friends. It was a pleasure then. Have a good night and see you on Monday. Monday. Night. Good night. Bye. I will see you Monday. See you on Monday. Dios los bendiga. Bye. That's well. Good night. 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 Okay. okay, so uh, Wilmer, how are you? I'm very well, teacher. And, and you, teacher? Also very well, very tired, but today is Friday, so we're going to yeah. sleep very well today. You don't work tomorrow, okay. right? Yes, I will work. Oh my goodness, that's not good. All day long? No, I'm I going to be there um, at one, one p.m. No, afternoon, one afternoon. Okay. And then you finish around six. Around seven. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's well, the second shift. Okay. So you have different shifts. Yeah. Okay, good. Um about what you uh, what we have seen here in class, do you have any question, anything that you uh, don't understand? Uh, do you want me to repeat? Uh, yeah, for example, uh, uh, are we are you going to cover in this year the intermediate level when you say so, uh are you going to cover this like me as teacher or we as the institution oh like as institution i guess so yeah i guess let me think uh we are in july see sí, probably probably november or december that depends that depends because uh, when we finish, uh, we really would like to start the next Monday, but sometimes it's not possible because InsaForm has to do the papers, send emails, do many things. For example, next week uh, is fine, right? After yeah. we finish, probably InsaForm is going to be on vacations for a few days. So I don't think we're going to do it immediately. I, I believe we're going to 
we're going to have two day, two weeks off. So, depending on those kinds of situations, probably November or December, we're going to be starting the intermediate. I am, I am asking that because uh, I would like to work in a part-time job uh, with an uh, intermediate level. I don't know if they're going to be higher, but I would like to try just four hours a day, I think. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, because the company that I would like to work, they ask me 80% uh, of English. But I don't know what is my level right now. But I think maybe with the intermediate level, I hope that I can I can work. Man. <laughs> I am practicing yeah. English every day, but I hope that with intermediate level, they can be higher. Well, actually your English is very, very good. I can't tell you exactly what, what is your level, but uh, what I can do for you is I can type me a text on Monday, uh, okay. only only to me, and I'm going to send you like the contents, the content uh, for all the basic and then the intermediate. So you can see okay. the topics. And if one topic you you believe that you don't know that one, you can study that. So that yeah. is a good thing. Yeah, because I, I really uh, want to work in, in a CC, you know, but yeah. I don't want to leave my company because the place that I am working on is very good and they are offering this opportunity to study. And I, I don't want them to offend them, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, so I, I really want to, to work uh, on part-time. Yeah, I, actually. I, uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's possible. Uh, yeah. If you want to give it a try, I can uh, I can help you doing an interview with, for example, there is a call center that is called TELUS. Do you know that one? Yeah, I know. Okay, so if you want, I can tell them to call you so you can check the interview and check what is your level. If it's not the real level, at least you are going to have the experience, right? Yeah, the experience is good. Uh -huh. And if they hire you, the good thing is that they are, they are hiring people so you can work from home. So you, you don't have to go to San Salvador. So you can work part-time in uh, at home uh, and then continue working in your company and continue coming to the english class so that is a good thing yeah thank you teacher would you like me to do that yeah but but i would like to to finish uh, the intermediate at least because i think there are some stuff that i have to to warm up for example or maybe to learn more yeah, probably yeah. that is true. For, for example, if you want to uh, work in a call center, what you need to do is to check almost always call center are technology related or uh, business, meaning money, uh, like yeah. accounts, like numbers, like things like that. If you know that kind of language, like technology language uh, yeah. or a uh, business, like, I don't know, uh, for example, I know that in, in a call center that is called Sykes, there is an account for, uh, that is uh, FedEx. Right. So mm -hmm. all the calls that they do are like, where is my package? I lost my package. I was waiting for my package today. What do you know about that one? And well, of course, there are questions like, what is your tracking number? Uh, where did you uh, purchase this? Or uh, things like that. So. Yeah. There are like the same kind of questions, but you need you need to know that kind of language. That will be good for you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, about the, the this training, I have learned a lot, teacher. You teach very well, and I didn't know some some stuff, something. And for me, this class has helped me a lot. Okay. And sometimes very difficult because you know the internet. Sometimes you have problem with the 
uh, I, I have a computer, but I don't use it. And I use my cell phone. So sometimes it sounds, the signal is, is bad, but uh, some those kind of problems that I have, but for everything, I think the class is very good. You are very patient. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the, this method of teaching. Okay. I really appreciate your words. I mean, I try, maybe as you notice, the most difficult part is that everybody has different levels. Yeah. So that's why sometimes I do activities very relaxed, very, or sometimes I bring, for example, readings that are like more complicated because I know that some people like you, that you have a different level, that a higher level, maybe you are going to find new vocabulary and you will be able to understand that in a different way. But I try to, to do everything, to do the whole thing. And I try you to speak. That is very important. When you speak, yeah. that is the most important. Okay, thank you teacher for, for everything. Oh, it's a pleasure. Whenever you have a question, you know that even if it's not in the class, if you see something, yeah. if you see a word or, or a tense that you would like to know a little bit more about, or if you need exercises, of course, uh, you can just type me a message and I can help you with that. Yeah, teacher, for example, I, I have been watching some videos and they, they were uh, very difficult because they speak very fast. So, uh, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's new. Uh, for example, they use the word or the concept of connecting word. Okay. So, uh, because it's new, it, for me, it's, it's some, some kind of hard because they connect one word with other words and it sounds like two, two or three or more words. It sounds like one word. Oh, it's a long term in one word, so it's a little hard. I know that for this level, uh, uh, you cannot, you can't show show us because it's. Imagine, I am not telling that I my my level is, is higher, but for me, it's it's very difficult. You know, connecting words and how to, some words are stressed and then some words go, goes together, go together. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're right. Uh, the best uh, that you can do is to practice, to listen to more videos and uh, get more vocabulary and practice. If you continue practicing, everything will be fine. And there are two different things. One thing is to understand probably uh, that is going to happen first, that you are going to understand what they're saying. And then yeah. little by little, you will be able to speak that way. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Okay. Okay, okay, my friend, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a good night and a nice weekend and see you on Monday. Hey, hey teacher, good night, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye okay, now. Bye, teacher.